Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Syed, so if you're new here, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that's becoming a part of daily life for millions and millions of people called AI chatbots. But not just any chatbot, right? I'm gonna test seven top AI chatbots so you don't have to, and in this video, I'm gonna break down which one is truly the best on real world performance. Now, I know there are a ton of videos saying this is the best chatbot, but most of them don't actually test side by side or give you the full picture at all. So I've decided to do something totally different. I picked seven of the most popular AI chatbots right now and use them in practical everyday situations, writing content, doing research, coding, casual conversation, wipe coding, and even helping with work tasks. So the seven that I tested were ChatGPT by OpenAI, Google Gemini, Microsoft Copilot, also known as Bing Chat, Jasper AI, Claude by Anthropic, and of course there's a bonus tool as well, Murph AI, which is not a traditional sense chat bot, but has a killer features. So let's talk about how I actually tested them. First, what I did was basically give them a prompt, right? So each chat bot got a set of five tasks and compared them fairly. Now these included, I gave the first three-day trip to Tokyo on a budget. That was the first thing. And then do a cold outreach email as a freelance designer, holding a simple Python task and explaining a Python or code line by line, and then explain the concept of quantum computing to a high school student. And finally, having a casual, friendly conversation about weekend plans, right? So these are the tasks. I also judged their performance on four key factors, accuracy, creativity, speed, and user interface, usability. So let's get into the results. I'm gonna show you those as well. First, ChatGPT, powered by OpenAI, which we all know. This one is still a gold standard in many ways, right? Now it's available in the ChatGPT app, if you're in the plus plan. Right away, you'll notice that the UI is clean, distraction-free, and extremely fast, and processes complex prompts. For example, when I asked it to plan a Tokyo trip, it gave me a balanced itinerary with transport options plus cost-saving tips and cultural suggestions all in one response. So the conversational ability of ChatGPT is almost airy. It remembers your context, right? So even suggests the alternatives when asked. Now it's particularly great at long-form content, brainstorming and storytelling, and of course code explanations as well. However, if you're not on the paid plan, you're stuck with GPT 3.5, which is good, but nowhere near the sharp new ones. Next up is Google Gemini, the evolution bar, right? The Gemini impressed me with the integration with Google search, for example. Now you can actually see the citations. It pulls real-time info from the web, which makes it extremely useful for current events, recent data, and product research as well. Now, with that said, the interface feels more like a search engine than a true conversation partner. The writing can come off as robotic and lacks the warm human-like flow that you get actually from ChatGPT. So still, for fast answers, factual breakdowns, and multilingual support, Gemini is a strong option, especially if you're in the Google ecosystem. Moving on to Microsoft Copilot, also known as the Bing Chat, right, earlier. Now this one caught me off guard, by the way. It's powered by GTD4 as well, but what makes it shine is how it integrates directly into Microsoft Office tools. Now imagine asking the AI inside Excel to clean up your spreadsheet or use the insight to rewrite a paragraph in a professional tone. The UI is built right into apps that you already use, so there's no switching tabs, no copy pasting back and forth at all. Now, it's not the most fun chatbot. It's definitely geared towards productivity, but for professionals and students, it's a serious time saver. Fourth on the list is Jasper AI. Well, I tested it, right? So this one's a little different. Now, Jasper isn't trying to be your all-purpose assistant, by the way. It's aimed at marketers, content writers, and social media teams. Now, you can choose a tone of voice, target audience, and content format, and Jasper will generate exactly what you need, blog posts, email campaigns, and many other things. The interface is heavily templated, by the way, which is perfect for speed, not ideal for if you need open-ended conversations. So I would not recommend Jasper for technical tasks, coding, or deep research, right? 
But if you're managing content at scale, it's one of the best tools out there. Next, we have Claude by Anthropic. Now, Claude is like the polite cousin of ChatGPT, right? Now, it's conversational, easy to use, and very safe in terms of content filtering and many other things. It doesn't hallucinate and can handle long-form documents pretty well. But it can be a little stiff, okay? So, for example, the responses are clean, but not particularly creative or flexible altogether. The UI is decent and minimal, but it feels like it's still evolving. Then there's UChat, which is integrated into the U.com platform, for example, right? Now, it's free, relatively fast, and does not require an account at all. The UI looks like a hybrid of a search engine and a chat window at the same time. But in-depth reasoning and follow-up prompts is where it struggles. It's not consistent. For example, a new chat is good for quick tasks. So if you want small tasks, it is great. But nothing for complex, right? And then, of course, I want to mention Murph AI. Now, this isn't a chatbot. It's a voiceover tool. But I included it because a lot of creators ask how to generate natural-sounding AI voices for their videos, tutorials, or reels. Now, Murph has the best balance of quality, realism, and ease of use. You can paste your script. Choose a voice, adjust tone and speed, and then boom, instant professional narration. So let's wrap this up with a quick summary. So ChatGPT4 is best overall for flexibility, creativity, and conversational quality. It's great UI, fast, and context aware at the same time. Gemini is best for real-time data and fast research. Now it's great for search-driven tasks. Then you have Copilot, which is best for productivity and office users, right? Seamless integration is a major win for that. Then we have Jasper that I covered, best for marketers, content teams, and creators. Fast and to the point, right? But not for general use. Then you have Claude, good for clear, polite responses, complex areas, right? But not very inventive. And then you have UChat, it's free, casual use, and then you can use it. And then, of course, you can add or use other options, right? So with that said, the best voice synthesis tool, not a chatbot, but extremely useful for creators altogether. But what's the best chatbot, right, among all of these? So if you want one tool that does nearly everything well, right, my vote goes to ChatGPT4. But if your needs are more specific, like content marketing, spreadsheet automation, or fast factual answers, there's definitely a tool that fits you better. So the entire goal and objective is to ensure that you have, you're fulfilling your objective, right? Because these tools, there are many, many other tools out there, right? But I covered the major ones. I tested all these seven tools. But the important fact that you need to understand is the fact that based on your objective and your results that you're looking for, these tools, you can pick these tools and use them accordingly, right? So for example, if ChatGPT is not doing something for you, well, Claude would do that for you. So through experience, you will get to understand which tool is works best with which task. I hope this helps. My name is Syed. I'll see you guys next time.